Thank you. You also have your bag while you're out. No, I think because it's got my batteries and stuff. Okay. Okay. Where's the brake light? Down here. Okay. Woo, here we go. Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Join me today for a demo ride on this here a CCM flat tracker. This is a, a organized demo ride uh, starting at Park Stop in Stevenage. So we're just following the, uh, the lead rider here. Bike is uh, set up with such a, a steep steering it does turn very quickly uh, so far so good so I just saw this event was happening online and decided to sign up because I've always been kind of curious about these uh, CCMs they're made in England they're made in Derby now I'll confirm later but I think the engines are KTM engines and then they just make the they make the frame uh, and, and everything else so they have like a real custom look to them Got the short leafers here this one's got LED indicators the switch gear looks a little bit Mickey Mouse to be honest that's, that was third gear it's a single cylinder 600-ish cc I think it's got slightly knobbly tyres on this it doesn't feel super confidence inspiring uh, uh, as you go around the bend these tyres but uh, uh, the brakes seem good enough I'll get down to a second the mirrors are not that's not the type of mirrors I'd like on my bike I don't like bar and mirrors I suppose you can get used to them they just seem not very functional oh yeah, lots of torque this one ok, here we go, Nationals oh, it sounds good sounds really good this bike ooh, here we go, we have a puddle Waiting. Oh, it does have a good bark to it, the exhaust. Woo! It's a shame the day is so mucky today. It's been raining a lot in the last week. It's the middle of April and it's cold man. It's cold and wet and damp and mucky. Come on already. Okay, we're just saying second. It's got a nice and responsive second. So these guys get, a, get up. Let's get some distance here. It's got, it's, they're very light bikes, I think, so acceleration can be quite nice. Okay, let's give it some distance. Second gear. Here, slow control. I'm gonna put my foot 
down yet. I'm gonna put my foot down. Oh, I have to put my foot down. Yeah, this is this bike is a lot of fun. <laughs> it's quite tall, um, but manageable, or at least for me. I'm I'm uh, five foot seven, thirty inch inseam, or one hundred and seventy centimeters tall with a oh I can't remember what my inside leg measurement is in centimeters I think it's 76 centimeters I'll put a correction here if that's wrong and uh, yeah it was okay to maneuver out of the uh, out of the, the, the parking area when we set off it wasn't too bad I uh, didn't really get a chance to test how it is for like tight circles and uh, the usual kind of slow maneuvering other than what we just did that at the junction Yeah, you can't you can't see the wheel. The wheel is like tucked almost right underneath the bike. It seems like quite a steep uh, uh, rake uh, steering angle on this. I don't know the technical terms. You know what I mean. Yeah, like I said, I'm surprised the the switch gear seems quite budget. Uh, everything else seems very nice and premium the, uh, the levers the mirrors are kind of smoky darkened I don't know why and quite small on the tracker they seem to be bigger on the uh, bobber up in front so I think this is the same platform same engine and stuff it's just made in uh, kind of different different styles it does feel a bit uh, snatchy at in third gear at slower speeds so maybe uh, staying second for a little bit longer I like the good point about uh, these um, guided rides is that you don't have to remember a route or anything like that the bad bit is you can't stop whatever you want and then and take pictures but I guess I'll take some pictures back at Bike Stop Bike Stop in Stevenage by the way great little store uh, they have all this sort of uh, nice events as well come on I think Rue Rock are there today as well oh it does get oh yeah this is the middle third of the rev range in second gear it's making a bit of a noise on the uh, when I throttle off, I'm not entirely sure what that is, if that's the clutch or, or what. Oh, we've got it left here. There is a lot of gravel on the roads today. Back brake here. Yeah, the back brake seems fine. Decent enough. I only use it for slow maneuvers anyway. Front brake. has got weird sort of knobbly fat tires uh, I think the brakes are fine just the tires are not the not the grippiest suspension is uh, it's okay it's not too stiff it's not plush but it's not too stiff the seats a bit hard and narrow okay, let's give these guys a little bit of room Ooh, oh we're going There we go, we go that way. Come on guys. Oh yucky yucky mucky roads. I wonder how much crap is 
sitting in my backpack now because I don't think these have got much of a mud guard or a rear hugger so we'll have to see how, how dirty the backpack got it's quite flexible in terms of I mean I've been staying in second gear here because we're going so slowly he did say he didn't want overtakes so no overtakes oh we have some horses horse riders up ahead they're definitely not gonna like this this bike it does seem quite uh, quite a noisy little thing let's open up the visor turn the uh, sound recorder on so I'm not sure how much of the uh, engine sound you're gonna get from here through the uh, helmet cam but yeah I've, uh, I've always been curious about the uh, about the CCMs and uh, it seems like quite a lot of fun do any of you uh, own or, or look, look looking to uh, to get a CCM what do you think of the uh, what do you think of the brand is there any machine in particular that you like I know that the Spitfire was quite popular a couple of years back tracker seems very very nice let's knock it down in a second oh all the vibrations to my, my the back of the seat here on my back I'm not sure how much uh, how much vibrations you're getting on the on the 360 camera I've been through here before Was I here? Are those some kind of social rider been through here? I remember seeing the uh, warning sign for frogs. Must be a frog farm. Seems okay in through, in through town, through the kind of slow speed roads. Second like gear, 30 miles an hour, it's not actually too snatchy at all. It does want to go. Knock it up into third and see how it goes. It's a bit smoother, a bit lower down the rev range. The, the instrument panel the LCD here is uh, quite uh, quite budget. It's quite difficult to read the the revs. Can't see the numbers. I can see it going around, but don't ask me to read those numbers. I can't see them. They just look like dots. I have no idea if this thing has got traction control. But I haven't had any issues so far. Well folks, that was it in terms of this demo ride. I had uh, a lot of fun. Uh, I want to thank the guys at CCM Motorcycles and at Bike Stop for organizing this. Uh, I think there are fun little bikes. They're not too expensive, starting at around £11,000 um, and you can spec them as much as you like. Uh, I had a nice chat with the sales guys at the stand and if I had room in the garage and the means to afford a, a third, fourth or fifth motorcycle, I probably want one of these uh, in my life but um, it's not really suitable for what I currently use motorcycles for. I hope you've enjoyed this little demo ride uh, video uh, do leave uh, a comment uh, in the comment section give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video or a thumbs down tell me why you didn't like it and I hope to see you in the next one but for now this is new always good to uh, get somebody else's motorcycle dirty isn't it